The first housing board flats in Bayshore and an integrated development in Kambangan are among 14 built-to-order BTO projects that will go on sale in October. A BTO project in Kalang slash Wampur will pilot a new white flat open concept where units are free of partition walls and beams, giving buyers who opt for this layout a white canvas to design the flat as they choose. Also on offer will be the first development in a new housing area in Sengkong and community care apartments in Geelang. HDB's new system that classifies flats as prime, plus or standard starts from October. It will replace the current classification of estates as either mature or non-mature, which has been in place since 1992. Details of the 14 projects were released on HDB's website on June 19. They make up the final BTO sales exercise of 2024. About 8,500 flats will be offered across on MOKO, Bidok, Bukit Batak, Geelang, Jurong West, Kalang slash Wampoa, Pazar Ris, Sengkong and Woodlands. BTO units in choicer locations will fall under the prime and plus categories. These flats will have stricter resale conditions, such as a 10-year minimum occupation period MOP and a subsidy clawback upon resale. Resale buyers of prime and plus flats will be subject to an income ceiling currently packed at $14.000 a month. Standard flats, which will form the bulk of public housing supply, will come with a 5-year MOP and have no significant restrictions on the pool of resale buyers. Two BTO projects in Bayshore, an extension of Bidok Town, will have a combined 1,440 units. Analysts said these projects are likely to fall under the plus category. These flats will have full-height windows, allowing residents to take in waterfront views for units overlooking East Coast Park or city views for those facing Bidok Town. There are two-room flats C, three- and four-room flats across the two plots, which are separated by Bayshore Drive. This new street will have a 400M transit priority corridor with bus-only lanes and footpaths, cycling paths and wider sheltered pavements on both sides. The larger 730-unit project that is closer to East Coast Park will have amenities such as an eating house, supermarkets, a preschool and a residence network centre. Mr Mohan Sandrasejaran, Head of Research and Data Analytics at Property Agency Singapore Realtors, said that as the projects are located between Bayshore and Bidok South MRT stations on the Thomson East Coast Line. Residents will enjoy convenient access to key transport links and amenities. Bayshore Station will open on June 23. Bidok South Station is expected to be completed in 2026. Predominantly populated by condominiums now, Bayshore will have about 7,000 HDB flats and 3,000 new private housing units by the mid-2030s. Bidok's third BTO project, sited next to Kambangan MRT Station, will have 340 two-room flexi and four-room flats. The flats will be part of an integrated development that will include a five-storey building with a new community club, supermarket, shops, an outpatient healthcare facility and a kidney dialysis centre. Mr Lee Z Tech, Senior Director of Data Analytics at real estate agency Hutton's Asia, said the project is likely to come under the plus category as it is conveniently located next to an MRT station and is integrated with several amenities. Three BTO projects in Kalang slash Wampur could be categorised as prime or plus flats, analysts said. The project piloting open concept layouts is likely to be a prime one. It will include 83 room units and 234 room flats on a site near Lavender MRT station that is bounded by North Bridge Road and Crawford Street. A 270 unit project 
bounded by Upper Boon Keng Road and the Kalangpaya Liba Expressway, is less than 10 minutes from Geylang Boru MRT Station on foot. The third project, with 360 units, is in May Road, about a 10-minute walk from Boon Keng MRT Station. In Geylang, a development next to Meta MRT Station will have 160 forum flats and 260 community care apartments that come with senior-friendly fittings such as wheelchair-accessible bathrooms with slip-resistant flooring and grab bus. It will be the fourth project with community care apartments. Ms. Christine Sun, chief researcher and strategist at property firm Orange Tea Group, said the project could fall under the plus category because of its proximity to the MRT station. Two projects in Sengkang will offer in total 1,390 units, which analysts said could be standard flats. The larger project with 842-room flexi, 4- and 5-room flats will be the first BTO development in Fernville North. A new 18.9 hectares residential area that could have 10,000 homes. Bounded by Fernville Street and Fernville Road, it is near two LRT stations, Tangem and Kopong. The other project has 552-room flexi. 3- dash. 4 and 5 room flats on a site in Fernville Link. It is near Layer LRT station. The rest of the BTO projects could be a mix of standard or plus flats, analysts said. Some 432 room flexi and 4 room flats will be built in on Misery Kyo Avenue 6, in the vicinity of Ang Mo Kyo, Yayo Chu Kang, and Mayflower MRT stations. On a plot next to Peza Ris Park. A total of 762 room flexi, 3 dash, 4 and 5 room flats, as well as 3 generation units, will be on offer. This will be near the new Peza Ris Mall and the Peza Ris 8 integrated development, which will be connected to an air conditioned bus interchange and Peza Ris MRT station. The largest October launch will be the 1,840-unit project in Yang Ho Walk in Jurong West, which will comprise two-room flexi, three-dash, four- and five-room flats, and three-generation units. Mr. Lee noted that the development is near Jurong Lake Gardens and the Jurong Lake District, the largest commercial node outside the central business district, which could appeal to buyers. A 690-unit project will also be built in Bukit Batak Road and Bukit Batak West Avenue 8, next to the Dalwich College International School. It will be near the future Jurong Region Lines Tenga Park MRT station, which is expected to be completed in 2028. About 294 and 5-room flats will be launched in Woodlands on a site adjacent to Marsiling Primary School. The Woodland Centre Road plot is about a five-minute walk from Marsiling MRT station.